Awo, shalom, Rastafari. Now this is the first day for the 2011 of what the OJs and other Jews call the uh, Hanukkah or the Hanukkah. What is Hanukkah? And of course, since we are Hebraic Ethiopian Hebrews, ones may ask, well, do we celebrate um, Hanukkah or Hanukkah? And do we celebrate Hanukkah in the same way as the so-called Polish and German and other Jews? And the simple answer of it is no. Yet the root and the truth contained in Torah or the Orit, the Ethiopic Orit and the Metaf Kedus of Kedemawi Hala Selassie is where we should start and begin to understand what is the true Hanukkah or what is the relevance of Hanukkah to us as Ethiopian Hebrews? Because it's here in the scriptures. It's here in the scriptures. It's, it's in the Bible. Even during the time of Yeshua, Adonenu, the feast of the dedication of the temple known as Hanukkah, it was practiced. Now, today, Hanukkah is known as the Festival of Light. And in fact, I think they might have already lit it as of this time. We have a little clip we want to share with you. Um, whether after this, you might see it after this particular clip, or you might have already seen it before. It's from a local um, news, CBS, um, local news here in New York, and it was showing how the, the other Jews, or the European, the Euro Jews, how they celebrate Hanukkah. And they talked about the spinning the dreidel and the mazel tov and the gifts giving to the children. And one particular Jew in that, European Jew in that particular feature that um, we have from CBS News, it's interesting that he says, this is a time for us to, it's a tradition, you know, time about tradition, 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 as well as it's a time for us to rededicate ourselves, he says, in the clip, to Judaism. And we say as Ethiopian Hebrews, as the natural branches which Yahweh Eloheinu is regrafting into the tree, we are those natural branches he broke off and he grafted in wild olives into that natural olive tree. In other words, that, that Eurocentric or European or so-called white Jewish element was grafted in after the natural branches the black sheep of the Beit Israel were broken off. And that's scriptural, historical, prophetical, so forth and so on. So when he says this is a time for, for those Jews, the European Jews, based on their rabbis and so forth and so on, to rededicate themselves to Judaism, we say that's what's wrong with their so-called interpretation of this way of life that's known generally as Judaic. Because it's not re us rededicating ourselves to Judaism, but it's us rededicating ourselves as well as what we have to the God and Father of the Moshiach, of Jesus Christos, of Yeshua, HaMoshiach. Understand that. Now, the being festival of light is an interesting element with the candelabra and so forth and so on. And some questions about why the five... Um, the, why the five uh, candlesticks, so-called menorah, um, or the seven, the seven, and why the nine, the difference between seven and the nine, so forth and so on. Now, the basic history, in other words, the basic, the basic story, the basic narrative of Hanukkah is where the item should check out if you're interested. And you can go to Wikipedia and so forth and so on and get the basic idea. And then they will have the different European, the Eurocentric tradition and the European interpretation. But the half of the story that hasn't been told is revealed in Aras Tefari and through the revelation of Aras Tefari, the King of Kings, Kedemawi Haile Selassie, and his Christ, our Black Lord and Savior, Yehoshua Ha. Moshiach, the Bain Ha Elohim, Baruchu. Now, let's get into Hanukkah for a moment. Festival of lights, of lights, right? A festival of lights. Mm. So let us light up. 
It's a festival of lights. Now, they say that the basic idea is that the oil that was only enough for one day, the oil. Now, remember, oil is a symbol. Let's put this up here on our um, board right here. And the brothers and sisters, grab your pens and your papers and your uh, sacred scriptures, the B-I-B-L-E, bring a willing and attentive mind and be prepared to receive to Kabbalah the half of the story that hasn't been told since 1530 or so A.D. when our ancestors, the black sheep, the Ethiopian Hebrews, were sold into slavery. And that fulfills the prophecy of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verses 15 to verse 68. So let's get into this portion of our teaching and portion of our lecture. So we want to put up here first and foremost is let's deal with the word, the name. Now you know how I and I, how and I am teaching the Memphis Caduce of the King of Kings. The first thing is the name, is the Shem. What is the name? What does the name mean? The meaning of the name, the etymology of the name, the word, to put it into proper context. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the Elohim, and the word was the Elohim, the true God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. So hold on for one moment. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to write up here Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Now, some spell it with the C-H. The C-H-A-N. Um, some put a double N. Hanu. Hanuka. Now, some, you know, different spellings. There's some different spellings among different communities and even among the European, the Polish, and the Germanic Jews, they dispute on it. There's the Ashkenazi way, which is the European, the Polish, um, and the German Jews, um, who through white supremacy 